It's a very important market for, for the U.S. and for the U.S. farmer. Um, I expect that to continue. Um, there's a lot of growth opportunities. It's a developing, um, developing market. One of the programs that we just finished this year, or a study really, was looking at Colombia and what Colombia will look like in 2030. So a 15-year outlook, more or less. And um, it was really uh, bullish results, but it's predicting Colombia to be the next Mexico. It was exciting to see the results and uh, actually have something to show the industry. Look, you know, from an outsider's perspective, we think that your country has this potential and we want to help you get there. So in my region, strangely, DDGs is uh, very underutilized, and so um, programs like Export Exchange were able to bring uh, actual buyers, some having a lot of experience, some having not, not too much experience, some still learning, and some that are very skeptical to use the product, so we're able to bring those to conferences like the Export Exchange, where they're able to meet with actually meet with other um, users from around the world, talk about their experiences, you know, even getting down to names and who they work with, uh, making some new connections, meeting with agribusinesses, talking about quality, specifications, contracting, that sort of thing. Um, and also um, hearing presentations from nutritionists and, and um, application use. It's important for them to understand how to use the product and to really understand the value. So sorghum is another uh, commodity that we work with, um, and we have uh, we have two major markets in my region that we promote pretty aggressively: Colombia and Peru. The barrier we have in Colombia, of course, is the um, tariff rate quota that is negotiated within the free trade agreement. So we do also are, are working with trade policymakers to, you know, have them understand it's not. It's not the United States that you're hurting when you have this kind of quota. It's your it's your own industry because they can take advantage of, of good prices when they're available. Peru is a very exciting market for sorghum right now because um, we're right at that tipping point of whether or not it's going to import uh, Im import sorghum from the United States, which would be a historic moment. Mm -hmm.